Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. And in this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we get to pick apart the Nectar Mattress again. So let's go. A couple years ago, we were able to do a Nectar Mattress. We just started doing that Anatomy of a Mattress videos. I say, you know what? I wasn't too happy with it. No offense to my brother, Sam. He does a great job, but he's, we've gotten a little bit better at these videos, I think. So we saw one, we got one in this past week. It's like, great, I wanna do that video again. Let's do it. And if you have not heard about a Nectar mattress, I would say it's probably the most popular online brand. I mean, they've done an amazing job at marketing. Oh yeah. At least they're in the, definitely in the top three. If you have looked for any mattresses, they're gonna come up on your feed, on your YouTube feed, on any social media feed, just because they did an amazing job at marketing it. And Nectar, their background is too. They also are behind Dream Cloud. They're also behind Awera, there's, you know. So there's a, there's a few other brands that they're involved with, same company. But no, I just, I've, I've been wanting to do this one again. So we were fortunate to get it. Yeah. But Gabe, you're the one who helped this customer. What's the story on this one? Yeah, it was a, uh... A husband and wife couple, again, like who hasn't heard of the Nectar mattress? So when they're in the mattress market for a mattress, this was in 2019, doing their research, Nectar kept popping up. And so the forever warranty was a big draw for them. Yep. And they're like forever warranty, the price, I wanna say it was like around 899, something like that for a king size. Yep, yep. And um, they're like, well, forever warranty, shoot, we can't, can't go wrong. You know, yeah. whatever dips, sags. Um, they never had any issues really with mattresses in the past as far as comfort goes so they thought yeah no brainer so they got the mattress and they just since then put up with it yeah you know and that's a common story I mean yeah. it might not feel good for a little bit but then over time the, the materials tend to soften up they tend to weaken up or compress and it just doesn't feel as good like when you first got it yeah but you don't want to have to get a new mattress so you just put up with it. So that's a common story. Mm -hmm. But was there anything wrong with the mattress? They weren't a fan of that memory foam feel, like that like slower response. Okay. They thought, well, okay, I guess I don't like that memory foam feel. And then it was soft on the top, but then it felt just like really dense underneath them once they got to the hard part. So they started waking up with shoulder pain and it just got to the point where they're like, you get, we gotta get rid of this thing. Yeah, you yeah. Know, almost going to the couch and stuff like that. So it was like, you gotta get rid of it. Yeah. You know? it, and comfort's objective, right? It's not, you know, this for some people this might be comfortable, but you know. Side sleepers, them, that, that couple, they weren't. Okay, so there wasn't no, like a warranty. I was gonna, I was wondering why they didn't take advantage of their forever warranty. So it wasn't really a warranty issue. No warranty More issue. Of a comfort issue. Exactly. Yeah. I okay. mean, as you can see, the mattress is, does look like it's still in good shape. So speaking of comfort subjective, it is a very subjective thing. Let's see how it is subjective to you. Okay. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Just see how it feels. I, I, I am curious to see you know, what what they were experiencing, or at least get a, some idea. Like I said, everybody's different. When it comes to comfort, you've heard us on other on other videos, you know. Gabe, what are you? So I'm, a, five, I'm, a, I'm five, a five two and I'm like a buck twenty. <laughs> He's lost a lot of weight, by the way. How much weight have you lost? No, I lost like uh, twenty five pounds. You lost twenty five pounds, so now you're probably a buck thirty now. <laughs> no. No, what is so you weigh you're about but but no, about about no, about one seventy. One seventy, you know, what five five eight, seven, five eight. eight. So, you know, that's his body type. It's gonna if you're six four, three hundred pounds, or five three, hundred twenty pounds, it is gonna be different. But I am curious just to yeah, see what so, you're feeling. Uh, I'm a side sleeper and I do typically like a softer mattress. Um and I can see what the customer's experiencing, you know, the uh you sink in and then it just feels firm underneath you. Yeah. So as a side sleeper, I probably would feel it on my shoulder. Okay. Um, just throughout the night. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not a terrible, you know, it's not a terrible match where I feel like a, it's just rock hard, but right. okay. to me, it feels like it's missing something. Yeah, I mean, I can just, by pressing down, I mean, you do get that, it's very memory foamy feel, you know? So, okay, well, and now how thick is this mattress? What's the thickness? This right here, let's uh, let's see, let's Where's open your... it up. This is about... Just, sh just shy under 11 and a half, 11 right? 11 and a half. It's probably was once 11 and a half, no? Yeah. So, and this is how you properly measure a mattress. Yeah, you, you want like... to have a straight edge down. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is there's this, there is this uh, cooling cover too. At first, it feels cool to the touch. The customer did mention it wasn't as cool as they had thought it was gonna be. Okay. It's not like they were waking up in a pile of sweat or anything like that. It's just that they're like, it wasn't cool. Yeah, I can feel it has that, it kind of almost, it does have a cooling sensation, you know, on it. 
but a lot of it, smoke and mirrors and a lot of with a lot of companies, because like if you put your hand up on a piece of metal, it's going to feel cool to the touch. But after a few minutes, it's going to heat up to your body temperature. And similar, that's essentially the same principle that's going on with a lot of these cooling covers too. It's a temporary cooling fix. Yeah. And then you got the sheets or a protector, protector on there, you know, so stuff, yeah. So, yeah. So that was, that was just one thing as I, we were opening it up, I remembered, yeah, they did, they did say it wasn't as cool as they thought it was going to be. But yeah, even blue foam is cool. So this is the FR. This is fire retardant. Every match is supposed to pass a fire barrier. You got to be careful with this one. I've seen this one before with many times with, and you got to be careful with little fibers. You don't want to take off the cover and just leave yeah. it off because we've heard with the fiberglass stories with with mattresses. Oh yeah. They, they'll wash the cover and they'll take it on and off and then these little fibers go everywhere. This looks like a very similar type of sock, FR sock. So whatever you do, I would not take off the cover and just leave this sock exposed, you know? But um, but yeah, that's because it, it'll make a mess. Here. All right, so this is the construction of the mattress. Yes. So we go typically from bottom up, right? So bottom up, yes. Like the, the support, like the three main parts to the mattress. You have the cover, you know, which is gonna play a big role in how the mattress responds. But also you have, this is the support layer. So this is where you want most of the support to be to be found. Like where it's gonna be supporting, like this is kind of like foundational. Yeah. Is this bottom layer, you know, if this is, a weaker, softer, cheaper um, foam, it will break down, mm -hmm. it's gonna hammock, you know? Yeah. And then these two layers, I would say they're called, they're either comfort layers, pressure point layers, you know? Yeah. They're meant to relieve pressure. And this is where you get probably the majority of the comfort is gonna come from this part, you yeah. know? Then there's like a comfort transition layer into this layer right here. Yes. To the, to the base layer. And it's surprisingly, I mean, this is pretty, pretty soft. Just by pushing down on it, like I could totally see somebody sinking in through here and then just hitting this base layer. Yeah. If you're gonna have that, you want something, I would put something a little bit firmer on this just to minimize that, you know? Especially for a uh, heavier person who is sleeping on their side, you don't wanna, you don't wanna hit this too much, too fast, yeah. you know? Because that will Which cause- what's happening, right? Is they're going through this too fast and then it's hitting that base, that firmer base layer. Yep, so this foam, this it is a memory foam. Almost feels like a serene foam. Yeah, it you kind know? of does, right? Which it it is a lighter, still a viscoelastic. Yeah, you know. memory foam, viscoelastic, same thing. You know, which is going to be usually it is great for pressure relief. But again, over time, over so many you know compressions, every time you sit on it, every time you lay down, you do get a little bit of microscopic breakdown happens, and then you start to go through it. You know, yeah, or or just hammocks. You get six inches of the base layer foam, mm -hmm. and above that. You got about two inches of that transitional foam. Yes. And then you've got your three inches of the um, the memory foam. Okay. So yeah. yeah, about eleven inches. Yeah. I mean, the good thing is, as going for it is, I mean, we say less is more when it comes to mattress construction. There's not a lot going on here, right? Where the, that can go bad. Now, as far as construction goes, I would just see. I would, the problem that they were having was just that pressure that they were getting on the side. Yeah, it just wasn't comfortable for them. Yeah, is either making this a little bit more dense, you know, so you don't sink in too too close to this, mm -hmm. or maybe adding a half an inch or an inch to this, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, less is more, but again, you can have a little bit of this to take, to minimize some of that pressure. So yeah, I don't see any real No, soft... real, no real indentations, right? Like, or there's, there's the natural, body impression that you'll see you know the flat edge the the level you know to like you could tell where they slept at where the shoulder show, was show them how they do the do a body impression yeah you, so you don't see any uh really any gap right there but as right. you move down over here you've got a little i mean it's less than a it's less than a half inch that's Set. a natural body impression that'll Whoa. happen on any mattress yeah. You know, and a uh, body impression. This mattress was what, what, four years old you four said? Four years old, yeah. So yeah, I mean it's not terribly bad. No. On it. Not at all. It's yeah. a, it's it's natural for that to happen because just like a new shirt pair of shoes, you gotta break it in. Yeah, I would say the only thing really that that I would say I was concerned. Well one one of the things that concerned me is that I was chatting with people. I know people and who retail this in their stores as well, you know? 
and I was chatting with somebody in their, um, just one of their, in their chat boxes. They're made in different parts. Like this one was made in Malaysia. So it was made in Malaysia, cover made in China. This uh, was then made in Malaysia, brought to the US. And, and I was just thinking about that for a king size thing, it was $8.99. You got so many moving components and for, you know, and then getting shipped over to Malaysia, then shipped over here and then to the customer, $8.99. It's like, man, I mean, this, the material itself has to be pretty, pretty inexpensive, pretty cheap, right? Yeah, yeah, the material cost to, to go through that many hands. Yeah. And also, it's going through different, it's made in different factories. That's one thing mm -hmm. I've noticed yeah. is, and I was talking with someone on the on their chat box, where they are made in different countries and different factories. And I've heard this through other groups that I've been in, there's been inconsistencies, mm -hmm. and with other customers, just in the field. Right. The risk of having, Getting it, getting the foam from different areas or made in different factories is just the inconsistency of the feel. Yeah. You know, you could get the same model, but if one mattress could feel firmer, the other one could feel a little bit softer. So, yeah, quality that, control's a bit different. Right? Yes, it really hard. It's, it is. I mean, it's hard to do it in, within your own factory. Right. You know, much is, less yeah. multiple different factories in countries, mm -hmm. you know. And the only reason why I mention it, because some people bring that up. That's important for, for some people, mm -hmm. you know. They are, you know, wanting something more domestically uh, manufactured. Because there's more control over it, right? You know, for queen size it's six ninety nine, king size is eight ninety nine. That's a pretty fair price. Yeah. For this, I would say it is a fair price if you're looking for like that long term bed, even though it has a forever warranty on it. Warranty. We'll do another video on warranties because it's really hard for any right to place a mattress due to a warranty. It's very very so many stipulations, which drives us nuts. For that price point, a short term bed. Mm -hmm. I would say not a bad buy. Right, not you know? a bad buy, yeah, absolutely. You know. This is the Nectar mattress, and this was a 2019. They probably did a couple changes on the more recent versions, but this one was done in 2019. Yeah, so our formula might be a little bit different, but. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If this helped you, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, you know, this helps us, you know, supports us for, encourages us to make more videos like this. Yeah. And of course, if you are interested in a mattress and you can't find one, we always recommend going to your area, trying to look for a mattress locally, support your local, you know, community. Yep. Um, but if you can't find one, you know, we make mattresses here in San Diego. Give us a call. We'd love to, you know, chat with you and just try to find the perfect mattress for you. And maybe we get a chance to make a, a mattress for you. So again, thanks for watching. Sleep well. God bless.